The crowd is a mix of white and brown, tall and small, young and the young at heart. And behind the board are the masters of ceremony, disc jockeys DJ Unjali and the Incredible Kid. They don't scratch or rap or do turntable tricks. They just play great dance music. I think there's so many different kinds of DJs. There's radio DJs, there are hip hop DJs, there are house DJs. Mobile DJs. Yeah, mobile wedding DJs. Neither of us got into DJing because of our interest in the technical side of DJing. Anju and I were roped into DJing through our love for music. Their music has little to do with America's top 40. Instead, they play an infectiously rhythmic form from India called Bhangra. Bhangra is from, is originally like Punjabi folk music and, you know, is represented by Sikhs and, um, you know, men in turbans and this was their harvest music. You know, makes you want to dance, makes you want to have a good time and it's all very kind of happy, joyful music. As much as Bhangra might be unfamiliar to a lot of people that come to our parties, at least at first, it, it's so visceral. It's not abstract, it's not, you know, it's just a boom, 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 you know, it just gets people moving. Their dances also feature songs and movie clips from Bollywood, India's prolific film industry. Bollywood is um, kind of a newer term for basically for Hindi film music and what I grew up calling filmy. Filmy music. Yeah. Um, it's usually, it's always in Hindi or Urdu. It's, you know, all Indian films are basically musicals. So it's the songs that people dance to or they sing to each other, love songs, party songs. Though rarely shown in the United States, Bollywood films are enormously popular around the world. Take this song from India's most popular movie. Holi ke din dil khil jate hain, rangon mein rang mil jate hain. Holi ke din dil khil and the Incredible Kid, also known as Steven Strasbaugh, live in a home filled from floor to ceiling with records. Much of their time is spent just listening searching for the next great dance song among them. This is all great fun for Anjali, because not so long ago, she didn't know the first thing about being a DJ. And Stephen, well, you could say he had a few things to learn about India's rich music history. We worked at Pals together, and I had been to some of the house parties, and it was always a lineup of boy DJs, basically with their record she crates. Wasn't, she wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling, feeling it at all. It was like all these boys and their like record collections, and I'm like, this is so boring. <laughs> so uh, one day at work, you know, we were just working across from each other, labeling books or something. And I was, I said, you know, you should show me how to DJ because I think, you know, I want to do this. Like, I think it would be fun. Pretty soon, Stephen was introducing Anjali to the world of turntables and mixing consoles, and Anjali began revealing India's musical treasures. I had been um, exposed to reading about Bhangra since the late 80s. Um, this is the thing about being obsessed with music, is it's a lot easier to read about music than it is sometimes to hear it and track it down. So I had a few tracks and a few CDs, and you know, I dropped them at a par you know, parties here and there, and Steven was like, what? <laughs> He's like, what is this? You know, like, I've never heard anything like this. Like, what are you playing? And um, 
yeah, he asked me to take him shopping, grocery shopping, basically. <laughs> Little did I know. The secret was hidden away in Portland's tiny Indian grocery stores. Bollywood chartbusters. Beyond the aisles of canned foods and dry goods, these markets are ripe with Bollywood soundtracks and Bangra beats. This is actually has one of my favorite songs on it that I play a lot. But yeah, his name's LL Cool Singh. Well, all these glass cases when we came here were just filled with 10 years of craziness, just so much stuff that hadn't sold. And I was uh, apoplectic. I just started, you know, going, I have, to get this, I have to get this because it's stuff that's not, you know, it wasn't, there's like a window of time, things that are produced at a certain time and they're available for a certain time and then they're gone. It's not like something you're always gonna find in the store. So you either see it and buy it at the moment or you're never gonna see it again. You know, I'd been living in North Portland for years. I had no idea that a store like this was right down the street and that they were stocking all this amazing music that was covered in dust. I probably spent almost $400 at this store alone, just absolutely freaking out. And that's the fun of being a music fan, discovering something new, something thrilling. But for DJ Anjali and the Incredible Kid, it's much more than that. They've seen how this music can literally move people. And music that most people have you know, not heard or they don't know where to buy it or, you know, it's obscure music for the most part, at least in the States. So we're serving as filters. Like, there are a lot of people in Portland that are discovering they love Bunger, but they don't necessarily want to spend the thousands and thousands of dollars that we have. But they love to be able to come to our parties and hear all the greatest stuff that we've distilled down for them.